One thing I want to ask you guys is whether you see your work primarily as sculptures or as musical instruments. Well, they're musical sculptures. One day I found some stainless steel discs in a scrapyard. So I just basically took a hammer and tried to hammer them and tried to get some results. It was very crude and very rough, but then I thought, yeah, there could be something to this. So basically for years I just worked every day at trying to learn forging. Here we have um, some gongs and cymbals and sort of gong sculptures. Um, these are forged using sort of ancient techniques of hammers and anvils and fire. Uh, they're made from a few different metals. Um, the colours and stuff you get on there is, is from the heating processes that you have to do um, to, to sort of release the sound from, from the metal after you've hammered it. I'll just put these gloves on because it does get a bit toasty around the fingers it? sometimes. My neighbour was a blacksmith from Norway. I went to his forge, I had a master class in blacksmithing, so I, I got all the techniques with sort of flattening out metals, shaping all the, uh, the twists and turns and stuff. It was just brilliant. And the reason I'm doing the chiselling, that releases tension of the hammering. So it just takes the surface of the skin of the metal off, and then it makes it open up with like softer harmonics. And also it looks good. So it's not just a decoration, no. it affects the sound as yeah, well? Yeah, it does definitely, yeah. Otherwise it would just have a bit more of an aggressive sound. So by doing this it just softens the attack a bit, makes it a bit more sort of mellow and harmonious. Let that cool down for, I don't know, probably take about 20 minutes to cool down. And then uh, we can see how it sounds. Percussionists tend to either fall in one, one camp or the other, from other musicians' point of view. They're either kind of showboating, <coughs> mm -hmm. you, you know, dominating this stuff, and, and people might like them or dislike them for that. Or they go say, wasn't he a great drummer? I never noticed him. You know, that is kind of the height of, of a compliment, is to say that, that they were so tasteful that, that they weren't, never got in the way at all. Yep, it's very splashy because it's very thin and pretty big. If it was made from thicker metal, we'd probably get more individual tones from the, the different regions. But it's yeah, nice. A lot of companies use automatic hammers or Computer, computerized hammering systems, but I do everything by hand. The best quality stuff is always done by hand. <laughs>